You can use this pretty flower motif on its own or attach many together. If you use fine thread, you can also use the flower for earrings. There are just four rounds and you learn it quickly by heart. Hi, I'm Tula and I'm working with you on this tutorial. So let's start. We start by chaining six. Chaining six, so that's four, five, and six, and then join it into a ring using a slip stitch. Then we start making these here groups, and they are done with trebles. Trebles using the American crochet term, it's double treble in British terms. Chain four, four, and then we'll do a treble, two yarn overs, and insert the hook into the ring, and get the yarn. And we won't quite finish the treble, we'll leave the last stitch on the hook. But yarn over and through two, and a second time, yarn over and through two. And now leave it like that, and then another one. Just the same. And now we take a yarn over through all of these. So that means that it's a group of trebles that's attached at the top. Now this one first had a chain, but it's like one treble. Then chain four. And then we'll make another group. And now it's three trebles. So three times so that we always leave the last stitch on the hook. There's two and one more. And here again, three trebles plus the stitch we already had. So you always end up with four and then you pull through all of them there. And we need six groups like that. So make four more and uh, you need to be tightening them so that they fit there. So four groups more and always chain four in between. So I'd start by chaining four. And then another group like that there. Here we have the six groups, all like petals a bit. And then one more time, chain four. And then we close the round with a slip stitch to the top of the first group. There. And the next round are these loops. There's two different sizes of them. First, make a slip stitch into that first chain space there. So we can start working there. And for the first loop, chain five. There. And then a single crochet in that same chain space. There. And then a smaller loop, just chaining three. And this goes across the top of that treble group. And uh, a single crochet there. And we continue like this, alternating chaining five and chaining three. So here, chaining five. And uh, a single crochet in that same space. And uh, chaining three and then jumping into the next one. And continue like this right round, alternating loops of five and three. When you are almost at the end, there's just that one more loop to make. We'll do that differently, so that we'll be in the middle of the loop to continue. Just chain one, and then make a half double crochet 
to the start of the round. So one yarn over and insert the hook there. And half double crochet means that you take a yarn over and pull through all of the loops at one go. And then we need these longer loops. Each of those loops is chaining 11. So I'm chaining 11 now. And we always skip that larger one there and uh, go into the loop that's above the treble group here and uh, a single crochet there. And this is what we do six times. Chain 11. Skip the larger loop and single crochet there to attach it. And then make five more. And the last one attaches using a slip stitch at the start of the round. Here. And I have the last 11 here. A slip stitch to the start. And then one more round. It's these single crochets that go round the longer loops that we just made. And then three picots at the top of each point. For each loop, six single crochets first, so that you insert the hook in the loop, not into the stitch. Six. That's six. And I need to move them a bit, tighten them a bit here so that we'll have room for three picots at the top. And uh, I'm chaining three for a picot. And uh, with this kind of picot, I attach them here by taking two loops of the last single crochet and then making a slip stitch straight through them as well as the original stitch. Then a single crochet in the loop again and another picot. Chain three and hook through that loop and that loop and then pull through all. The reason I'm making it like this makes a nice tight picot. One single crochet again and one more picot. Chain three attach and then six single crochets on the other side of the loop so here's one done and then just exactly the same for the other five so here's it finished just pulling the yarn through there and then you can wet it and block it. And then let's see how you join them. If you want to make a scarf or say tablecloth or anything, set them together like this here so that these two picots and these two picots are together. And then for the next row, attach them like this so that the middle ones are actually all three are joined. And then this those two again and those two again and then you keep going like that here we are and make sure you are subscribed to my channel and until the next video